Okay, welcome back to Unreal Engine Indy. We are going to go over eight-way blend spaces. Now, the reason I want to go over this is because some people may have trouble with it. Uh, so I just wanted to go over it. What I have here, if you go to the Unreal Marketplace, sometimes you can get these animation packs. Now, I did the protector one. So I have the protector animation pack, or you might do other ones that have eight-way blend spaces for like walk and run. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set up rigs. Now if you go into the Wukong folder and you go to rigs, there is another video that I went on how to uh, retarget animations and things like that. I'll put a link in the description below but you need to look at that video if you do not know how to set up IK rigs and an IK retargeter. So I have the protector rig here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This is what I have. So I have all the bones mapped out of what I need. And then I come in here and I do the Wukong rig. Now I just went to animation. IK rig. Now with the Wukong rig, I noticed that we have root and we have spine, spine 01, 0, 1, and 2. This stuff I do not need. I don't need the, the back armor or anything like that. So if you have retargeted Wukong then with an IK rig, then you will more than likely get this. I don't need it, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Delete that, delete that, and delete that. So I just need spine 01 through spine 03. And if you come down here, I think that's all I have here. Now we have this one here. So I don't need that one either. I need left arm, upper hand, right arm, upper arm, R, hand R, the thumb, the index, leg. And of course the head. I forgot the head and then when I looked at it again I had to re-add it. So that's what my IK rig looks like for Wukong. So then you come in here and you create an IK retargeter animation. IK retargeter. Pick IK rig to copy animation from. And since I have the protector rig it would be that one. So, what we need to do is we need to get the animations. So what I'm going to do is when I come in here to character, what I like to do is create a folder, a new folder, and we just call this animations. I go into the animation folder and I'm going to create a new folder called movement. That's where I'm going to put all of the animations that I retarget inside there. So I go back to my rigs. I go to the protector rig that I have set up. If you don't, don't know how to set this up, uh, look at the video that I have linked below. So go ahead and open that up and you'll see this. Now, I have this set up so where it'll do it. So that looks good. It uh, looks like the bones and everything mapped. So what I like to do is to double check to go to chain mapping, click on root, and make sure translation mode is globally scaled. Because sometimes the root motion, well, root motion is not going to work for me if I didn't have that set. So glob <coughs> globally scaled needs to be set. So what I do when I have a pack is put that on pause because that's annoying. And I'll just come in here to walk. Now, this has walk defense. This has walk strafe, start, and loop. So I'm just going to do the basic strafe. Uh, let's see. Protector strafe left. And um, I want to do the in place one. So that looks good and the right 
in place. Okay, that looks good. So what we need to do is we need to go to forward loop. This is for walk. So we need a forward and we need a forward left loop. Forward right loop. And so we got forward, left, and right. So I'm going to go ahead and export those right into character animations movement. If it puts you in there, I'm just going to jump back in here. I'm going to close those out. I don't need them. I'm going to come back here. So now I have forward. Uh, we need a left and right. Walk left in place. So I'm going to do that one and a right loop in place. Walk left loop in place. And we need a backwards too. Where is the backwards? Let me go ahead and export these first. Movement. Jump back in here. Thought there was a backwards. Yep, right here. Backwards loop. We need a backwards left loop and a backwards right loop. So we have backwards, backwards left, backwards right. And we're going to go ahead and put that in animations movement. Now, what I do is I just go ahead and rename all of these. I take retarget out of it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and do this. Okay, so I just renamed them. I just took out the loop retarget. And I think we're also going to need an idle, maybe. Uh, let's just go ahead and do idle. What does that look like? I guess we can do that. Do that Wukong character animations movement. And then I'm going to just rename that. Okay. So then let's go back into here and we'll look at the walk to see what that looks like. So right now we have character, we have Wukong blend space. I'm going to do another blend space. We're going to do it off the Wukong character. We're going to name this Wukong 8-way blend space. And we we'll open that up. Okay, so we open that up. What we have to do is we have horizontal access and vertical access. So what you need to do is do offset y'all, negative 180, 180. And grid division needs to be 8. Then we'll, we'll do speed. Max speed will be 600, and we'll keep it at 4. So now what we do is we come over here to Asset Browser, and we search for idle. And I think that's what I need. Yes, so let's just go ahead and put idle down at the bottom. We'll just do it all the way down at the bottom. And we'll do that. Idle. Idle. Now, people that are better at Unreal Engine than me, and there's a better way of doing this, please comment below. Also, if you see me doing something incorrect, comment down below. Uh, I've been working with Unreal for about a year, and I've been doing the C++ coding side of it for about six months. 
So, but I'm a software engineer. I work on the web, doing development there. So, if you see me doing something wrong, and you've been doing it for quite a few years, let me know. Okay, so we have protector strafe walk forward, left, right. Do we have a right? Yes, right, forward, right, forward, left, back, right, back, left, and back. So right here in the middle, right in between here, here's 600. So we want, uh, let's say 300 for walk speed. And we want to go forward. You want to put that right there. Now, you would think that you would go left here and then right here, but this needs to be forward left. So we need to go forward left. Then we need to go forward right. Then we need to make these correct. And just, if you get those red lines, just smash them down. Click on smash them down. And then we go to the left. Then we go to the right. Alrighty. Uh, okay. Then right here, we want to go back because the very far ends are going to be back. Because you're doing negative 180 and then positive 180. And if you looked at the last video, I explained how the offset yaw works. So you want to go backwards left. Then you want to go backwards right. Then you want to go backwards. And the backwards. So now if we look at this, we go forward. We go left, and it looks like those are correct. So now we need to do the run. Go ahead and save that. Jump back into the retargeter and type in run. It might be jog for you or run. Uh, depends on the person that put it together. It depends on what they've called it. So I have here protector strafe run. So what I have here is in place for backwards and in place backwards left, backwards right, in place, forward, in place, forward left, in place, forward right, in place, and then left, in place, and right, in place. And we export those into animations movement. Bam. Okay. But they're named retargeted. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Rename all of them. Take the retargeted out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Okay. I'm back. I renamed all of them. Just took the retarget out of it. So now what we need to do is I think we can close the retargeter out and close out the browser. So we go back into the blend space. This is where we need to put the other ones in. So now we have walk, we want to do run. So, which you don't want to do that. Let's reopen the eight way blend space. Okay, let's do this again, run. So we have forward run, which means you want to go right in the center. Then we go for, forward left. Right there. Forward right. Then this will be left. Same thing as walk, except for it's run. And then we do right. Now, these are going to be backwards left run backwards left run backwards right and run backwards for the negative 180 run backwards for the positive 180 
that red line to adjust it. So now it should walk strafe. Here, let me, uh, yeah, that looks a little bit better. So now we have walk, and we're going to strafe, and then run. So it looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. That, and then that, okay. Now forward, running, running, backwards, that. So that looks pretty decent. So go ahead and save that. Now we need to jump into the animation blueprint. So jump into animation blueprint. And let me go back to the beginning so you can see where I'm at. So click on Animograph here to the left if it doesn't show up. Double click Locomotion, double click Idle Run, take the Wukong Blend Space, delete that, delete that. Now we have Wukong 8-Way Blend Space. We want to hook up the Offset Y'all, Offset Y'all, Speed to Speed, and hook it up to the Output, Compile, and Save. So now, it should look pretty good. Looks a lot smoother. There we go. So, that is how you set up your 8-way blend spaces. Now, if that's working for you, that's great. Uh, what I do want to show you is some things that you might have problems with. So let's go into Wukong character. I went over this on the last video. But make sure you, when you type in controller here, use controller rotation, y'all. Make sure that's checked. Also go to character movement. Type in rotation make sure orient rotation to movement is true rotation rate uh, for the x and y is zero and for the z it's 540. also when you come in here I don't, we need to close that out when you come in here if you do not have these minimum access uh, offset y'alls set up properly it's going to look all crazy so let's say I have this to 100. I think that's set up like it is before. And let's say I, I save this and then I come in and then I click play. Well, it's going to look a little bit weird. See, it's not working. That's if, if yours looks like that. More than more than likely, go to your blend space, your offset y'all. The minimum access needs to be 180, and the maximum needs to be 180. So when you have that set up properly, the animations will look proper. As you can see here, now they look pretty pretty good. So that's how you set up 8-way blend space. Uh, it's not that hard. Just make sure when you're looking at this, your idle is down at the bottom, halfway up. If you got 600 speed and the center is going to be walk forward then over to the left is going to be forward left then left then backwards left then backwards and then forward you have forward right right backwards right and backwards so that's all i have for this video thank you very much make sure you like and subscribe share the video and bye for now